like you said, my name is Jesse Han. I'm on the team here at Blackhawk. I'm excited to uh, enter into week three of the I Am Jonah series, Jonah chapter three. And I think this, this Jonah in me and my, for the way I view this, it's this story. It's got some great theology in it. And I'm just going to share three of them with you. The first one is this. God is sovereign creator. We see this throughout the scriptures. And I think in, in, in Jonah, we see it very clearly. Um, Jonah is on the boat, right? And the, and the storm is kind of brewing and it's kind of throwing things. It's just crazy. And the sailors are all praying to their gods and the sailors yell at Jonah, get up and pray to you. Who are you from? Pray to your God. And Jonah says, I am a Hebrew. He says this in one nine. I am a Hebrew and I worship the Lord God of heaven who made the sea and the land. Second thing I notice from reading the entire story of Jonah from one to four in the 48 verses, we get a lot. Number two, God is judge of all the earth. God is judge of all the earth. God tells Jonah to go. Tell Nineveh that judgment is coming. That I'm coming to town. See, God is the standard. Whether we believe in God or not, whether we believe he exists or not, God is the standard and he has every right to call us as his creation, as the judge, to live up to his standards. I think the third thing we see is that God is a God of grace. At the end of the story, spoken from Jonah, out of Jonah's mouth, in 4, verse 2, I knew you were gracious and compassionate God, slow to anger and abounding in love, a God who relents from sending calamity. God is a God of grace. God used, just like us, a reluctant, stubborn, hater prophet who when asked to go to Nineveh went and bought a ticket to not Nineveh, as KB told us week one, not Nineveh. But God in his unrelenting power, love, and grace rescues him from certain death, offers him a second chance, take this message to a broken, evil city full of people who had decided to fill their lives with not God. And they believed, and they trusted. And this transcending, transforming grace rescues and saves. Just like us. 